So for me, I played him a bunch, and I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to innovate a little bit. And I think versus Falco specifically, there were some things that like he m he does very very well. But I think he, my impression is that he wants to do some new stuff to like actually grow beyond that. Because mm -hmm. I, and and I think that like caught him by a bit bit him in the ass a little bit. But versus Fox, I think he's a lot more confident. Right. Game one on Dreamland. Immediate <laughs> attempt from Nota up smash. Just to get a little early combo going. By the way, what's up, guys? What's How's up? What's up, Hugs? Ginger needed to go warm up, so I hopped on the mic. I thought he left because there was no more Falco. <laughs> no, no, no. He just said he needed to warm up. Oh, I like love that. So, yeah, right there. Slide off is so scary. Just make sure you're near ledge. I've played a lot versus Wizard of this event, and uh, I think you have to... You have to match him in how like disciplined you are in order to really beat him, mm -hmm. and you also have to call out his uh, his habits because he won't call your habits out. But uh, if you can like match his punish game and also call his habits out, then he's not as scary. However, I don't know how Noel plays this matchup. If if it's more like the Mango style, then this is probably going to be really hard because Whistler will just go for stuff like that because even if he misses the grab, it doesn't really matter because you know he takes a little bit of damage, but you die. Mm. He's also used to playing Johnny, and I know most of SoCal's complained that uh, when they play against SJ for an extended period of time and they play against Wizzy, it feels like a completely different game. They get completely reactive yeah. first. Yeah. I can imagine it's the same for me. I've only played Wizzy at this event, and I think it, it, we have such similar like mentalities that I understand them. Mm. And I definitely think that's very interesting how big of a difference, you know, the different Falcons can have. Oh, I love that. That that's was so down. fast. Like, up air is so convenient in so many spots. It's not that hard in that spot specifically, mostly because even if they can start moving, they go upwards and then you're below them, so you still hit them. Oh, that no. was unfortunate. Uh, this is now forced to one stock. This can happen though, game one. Like I think Noel can find his footings. Right here, I think the stuff Wizard was doing is all like high reward, mid risk stuff. That's bad. Jeez. Right there, so four fast. times the set, uh -huh. four <laughs> times this game. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, dude, that's dude, the dude, fastest dude. Fox Fly I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Yeah, he, people like RDI'd that just to move on to the yeah. next game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three times that game, Wizard did slow fall Nair right there at the start as well. I think that's one of the things you have to be super aware of, is that if you're trying to call out that fast fall Nair, you will be clipped by the uh, slow fall Nair, and Wizard won neutral a lot just doing that. However, yeah. Noel versus Leffen did just go for those games, <laughs> yeah. and that did just work. So maybe that's all he needs versus uh, Wizard. Yeah, an early lead for Noel. Gonna, gonna, like, yeah, when you get you bodied that jumps. bad, he probably just moves on and just calls it, you know, just... You save your energy. Yeah. yeah. Like, all right, that match didn't count, moving on. Yeah, See you just, you just cannot think about it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that... That was a nice grab. Let's see. I'm calling five. Wish I was super good at that. Four. Ah, uh, four. Almost. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Darn. That's one new <laughs> thing I think we sort of started doing more is that he, I think he stole it a little bit from Nun is that when he's in a situation where he can't get an aerial out, he started doing just jab one and then check you. And mm. if you did a jump into him, you get clipped in the air. Yeah. And it's super, super hard to actually like get out of that. And if you're not super, super on point, you will just get grabbed and then die. And I think Nun was by far the best at it. But now that's like an extra element you have to look out for. I don't like those names almost at all against Dizzy. No, yeah. they're really, they're really, really bad in my opinion. Full jumping in general in this matchup is very hard because there's only a very specific types of full jump that don't yep. just get beat out by his uh, nair and his upper. And what, what's the specific type? It's you have to do a full jump where you 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 can do a back air and not over him, but like the tipper back air on him because okay. everything else will just like fairly reliably get clipped on the way down or even on the way up. Now, when Wizzy goes for raw knees and neutral, why it's so good is because you don't really expect the hit, like there's no way it's gonna land. And then you're already holding a direction, like maybe yeah. running out like that, so your DI's already gonna be atrocious. So that's why like those knees kill like 60-50%. Like right there it almost happened again too. Yeah, and it's yeah. at low risk for Wizzy. Yep. Exactly. Oh, no, shot. Nice. Nice. He gets yeah. it. And he nice. read that, he read that perfectly. That Whoa. was really good. Okay, that was no. really good. The that was kind of a composure thing right there where we sort of jumped into the uh, getup attack, and it's very common for people to just want to go out there and get the hitbox out. But Falcon can't just like double jump the ledge there. It's really, really scary. So he has to do the air dodge. And uh, if you wait that out, that's how you get the kill. Downer to start for Wizzy. I like that grab off. Okay, see, okay. no that's finally adapting him. I like what I'm seeing right here. Oh, <laughs> classic. I hate every Fox has been hit by that so many times, and it's uh. every time. <laughs> And just he died for it. Jumped the gun a little too early. Wait, where was he? Okay, yeah, it was on three I 
the confidence, so, though. One thing, again, the slow fall Nair, Noel does not know how to beat the slow fall Nair, I feel like. Every single time where has gone for it, it's hit. And that's because you're so used to the like, fastest possible Nair, and then you will just get clipped, because it's both a timing mix-up and a spacing mix-up. Yeah. Okay, Wizzy, edge guard attempt, gets the grab. He's I, fine no. just building damage here. Okay. I just want to see more calls and jumps. I yes. feel like Gia's playing way, no, playing like way, way, way Ooh. too grounded. And Wizzy had the right what? read there too. He's not using up tilt nearly enough. I think you or can. Up smash. Yeah, either or up smash or up tilt are super good because they will reliably beat out the Nair. Uh, and there's so many situations where Falcon doesn't really have a true answer. Uh, I think in this matchup specifically, Falcon's biggest weakness is that his threat range is very predictable yeah. and. For, if you're not point blank in him, you cannot get hit by an aerial like on the way up. And if you don't get hit on the way up, everything is reactable. You yep. just see him jump and you press shield and then you're fine. No, Unless trying you to once. find the edge guard here. Shake okay, side BS. Yeah. Maybe. What All right, nice. yeah, like that. All get up attack. Goes down, maybe. Ooh. Wizzy is so patient, finding it up there off the stage again. He knows exactly when no wants to up B, and then like he goes just as low and has almost a no risk chance of hitting it. Yeah. There we go, another tech dish again. Probably towards the ledge, he's gonna do it, and probably risk it off for it. Yup. And yeah, finish your food, done. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna point out how those two stocks happen. First one, Wizard checks him with a jab, Noel jumps into it, immediately gets grabbed, dies. Second one, slow hit Nair, gets clipped, dies. Yeah. And that's Wizard's efficiency mm -hmm. right there in front of us. I mean, he's been known for doing this for such a long time. Also, he's known for having one of the fastest reaction times in all of yep. Melee. Yep. So those tech chases that he's, that he's doing, you know, if you have a copy of Melee at home, go home and try to do that on, like, uh, level 9 or whatever you can tech <laughs> on your, you know, Uncle Punch. It's very difficult. He's that fast. He's also a 64 player, top 5 in the world at one point. So, very one talented. The, one of the best at all the Smash games. Yeah, period. all of them. One thing Wizard knows very well is that you can use up throw and down throw to set up a like 50 50 on the slide off but also you can oh this does not kill uh, but you can also set up the forward throw as like a mix up right there and i think wizard is super good at using this so you, even if you get grabbed near the ledge you'll never know exactly which throw he's gonna do whereas i think every other falcon they're more predictable with which row even with wizzy hesitating right there still had enough time to go that far out and find a second up there to get that stock See right there, shields the knee. You can just do that like on reaction to him jumping. However, it doesn't leave you in a good spot because he has a shield. Mm -hmm. uh, he has he's need your shield. I also don't like the up smash at 86 because 86 other moves can knock down, so yeah. there's no reason to commit to an up smash. That was one of the full jumps right there we oh, talked about. Why oh not? my god. Oh why my not? god. Very lucky. <laughs> that, <tech. laughs> that, that, jump. that probably should have been death. Yeah. Scuffle, yeah. Slow yeah. Nair. Surprise again. they both lived. Mm -hmm. That's yep. it. All you have to do is wait because they're gonna come down eventually and that up air can go way over the ledge. For folks in this matchup, there are some rules, slow Nair again, there are some rules that you just like cannot break, and I think Noel, he plays pretty all right, and then eventually he just like break breaks those rules. That rule. yeah. yeah. The way he fall jumps into like, uh, into Wizard even if it works, the reward is always way lower than if Wizard scoops you out of the air, which will happen like about a 50 50 rate. Ah. Yeah, it just might be a matter of discipline for Null. Because he, he can do it, right? But as you're saying, he just ends up breaking that rule at some point in the match. And of course, Wizzy's going to fully capitalize. Exactly. It, it's a little frustrating to watch because his adaptability is actually pretty good. Yes. It's just he is genuinely just not either lacking matchup knowledge or refuses to abide by it. But I've seen a lot of uh, habits of Wizzy that he immediately adapts to within like one. Uh, iteration mm -hmm. and so it's like he's clearly got skill like to do that but he just doesn't follow the rules either for lack of knowledge or lack of like yeah. discipline just clean play it, from wizzy kind, all kind of around so yeah. yeah honestly yeah yeah very <laughs> so cal I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> pains me as a european You're because of how like that's the type of thing where you two are polar opposite polar, polar, I, am, polar I am the opposite. exact opposite however it's also worth mentioning that it's very easy to just learn that stuff and like mm -hmm. i can tell you the flow chart there and then you just do it but learning the, to call whisper about like that that's the hard part mm -hmm. learning how to do that that's the is, difficult is part is it though i feel like i feel like it's just different i feel like different skill sets like cater themselves to different skills i don't know i that's feel like fair. i feel like different people are good at learning different things mm -hmm. I, I don't think you might be right, but I, I think in general, one's not necessarily more difficult than the other. Yeah. I well, think it's just kind of how you grow up playing You can't the game. teach someone to call someone out like that nearly as well as you can just say, here's what you do and what you don't do, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm really not sure. I haven't mm -hmm. thought about it too much. However, I love this. This Fox discourse. Yeah, that's what I was saying <laughs> yeah. earlier. I'm just like bearing witness to <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. You, guys, you guys know so much. You guys you know be living so like much. this. That's crazy.
<laughs> yeah, this is what we talk about all day, every day. <laughs> yes, it is. I feel like this is how the IRL conversations go. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is exactly how it goes, IRL. <laughs> I was in the car with Zane and IBW. We were talking about movies. And Cody's like, what are movies? What are those? Like, <laughs> Listen, man, why are you in white? Do you mean movies? Do you mean movies? Hey, that's why you guys are so good with that character. It takes yeah. a lot of skill. And as we've seen right there, Wizzy was able to overcome Noel 3 to 1. Uh, with very, very well-placed aerials mm -hmm. and not letting one game shake him off at yep. all. Much better played there than yep. he was in the Magi set, and I believe that's going to put Wizzy 1-1 to one right now. Yep. Null 2 so he's guaranteed to be in the gauntlet, and tomorrow has to play against Leffen for that potential tiebreak situation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we could end up in a three-way tie. Yep. Uh, Leffen going into tomorrow undefeated. So. Yep. Uh, the undefeated players for today are... It's Amsa... Mango... The Mango no, Lost 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 Yeah, yeah. No. Right, right, right. With the happy birthday Lesson. thing after. Cold. Me and IBDW. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And there's one more set. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. And I think that's going to finish out this uh, group. And now... Yes. We have the Marth pool. This this pool is very interesting. Uh, Sora, sorry. unfortunately, our friend from Australia, uh, did have some food poisoning. Uh, yeah. Was not able to play here today. However, they're not DQing him or anything. They're letting him play all three of his matches tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So instead, it's today awesome. we're having Zane Ginger, Ginger versus Kadoran, Kadoran versus Zane. Uh, they're doing that triangle. Uh, so we're seeing all those matches. all Sora tomorrow. All yep. Sora tomorrow. So <laughs> okay. we have some really, this is actually a really good pool to watch right yeah. now. Obviously, hoping Sora feels better. I'm sure he yeah, will with, yeah. a, with yeah. some good old American medicine, hopefully. <laughs> right there. Oh, 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 it's great out here. I'm sure. What was that? It's yeah. great. All right, guys. Yeah. So we're going to cut to a quick break before we get into this next match. Make sure you stay tuned for more Smash Number 12 action right here. Absolutely. Enjoy.